Hello guys, we're back again to Deckmark TV. I'm just going to show to you the Perilous uh, deck that I made during uh, last Saturday's MTG Lilo Trace Place uh, Perilous for the Marshall the Machine set. And uh, I've chosen out of my card pool, basically a green-white uh, sort of agro counters deck. Since I think that was only the viable colors out of the pile. And I've also added a splash of black that for this card. We got some quite an agro strategy with Convoke again, since uh, Convoke is typically a green-white uh, mechanic. But uh, uh, trying to optimize what uh, this card's that uh, out of those draft boosters I will provide <laughs> so I decided that uh, this would be most of the efficient here instead of just having those other colors or trying to be going with the three color deck of that sort so since uh, white will be going to the aggro let's discuss first the curve it's probably our one of those two drops and three drops and uh, later on so we're going to start here with two of these uh, Dune Shaper. This is basically a one to cast one to early on, but a good mana sink. Just to draw back is only five, but you can turn it into a good old uh, burnished uh, Dune Stomper. This is a 4 3 Trampler. And also, efficient later on, if once it would get some of these counters provided by these effects. And uh, having Trample will also be very efficient in the, those matchups. Now, for the two drops, I decided to just go with this. Uh, cards so this is my pre-list foil uh the wheel list and another two drop with the cavalier but just going to go with the word i mean with a curve because just we don't really have the knight uh, uh creature type in the deck so just going to go with the typical tokas 3 one uh, card but the duels here are very essential since we have some several effects so adding percent percent counters so adding counters will draw you a card and such would also get us our gas together and having a vigilance uh, attacker would also be very necessary for that and uh, our three drops would go with this i think this is the only three drop but we can also consider this one as a uh, three drop or five drop because of its ability to create uh, this uh, incubate tokens so paying three would incubate you one time but paying five alert or so, so on and so forth would go with incubating that uh, many times with half of what you paid and also being three which means there will be become three three uh, prediction artifact uh, pictures and also have this option to transform it for free so that's being said with the progenitor x arc it's going go to at least a three drop here and also with this card the attentive warden is also a good uh, two two flyer and has this effect wherein you can uh transform an incubator token for free with the uh, dealing damage in the air to a player or a battle or uh yes this battle and you know so for the backup card this five to cast two three the golden scale or not with our other five drops that is the uh, infected defector that uh, when it were dies it gets a uh, incubator for three token and the elevator host intercessor in which not only a uh, 3, 4, 4, 6, but also can go with an XL effect of a uh, creature or opponent controls and also can go with a place like Link if needed. Uh, just a quick uh, combo here with this white card is also this one. Uh, I can just basically curve out with the Skyward then and cast Converter Beast in fourth turn, wherein you can incubate 5 and then attack it for the air and have those incubate uh, face up uh, transform for free. So that's kind of a mini combo here. So that's for the white creatures, for the green creatures, uh, we just basically go with the late uh, late games. We have only one one drop, I mean two drop for this uh, color. This is the Iridescent Blade Master for two, but also a good mana sink in the late game, which becomes 4-4 four, four if needed. We also have Renia Tackle to the hunt, which adds counters to each our creature control the the battlefield, and also Devotion to green. And again, this uh, take takeoff is a Converter Beast. And also, this one before we go with the large creature, Trans Jumping Cabo with its backup ability. And Bodied Herb Beast, which can also become a 7 5 uh, uh, Menace creature. But the good thing here is that we use one, which you can, if there's a typical curve in the deck, you can just go with the, the Ancient Imperial Sword to cast out at least by turn 5 or turn 4, and then have 
those two counters added for its signature token work it so this becomes as 8 8 a 10 10 or 12 12 at most uh, scenarios and also being trample inwards very somewhat very hard for most of your opponents to kill because of very big creature in a ward in a sense so that is for your kitchen lineup we have some several uh, combat six effects here this is pretty much basic we have energetic intervention to protect us from uh, protection from the color of your choice or colorless and then put the encounter if you're the creature and also we have lps smite it's a very cheap one damage to uh, three, one to cast three damage to target attacking black creature then again you get to excel it and also this one the new version of an oblivion ring the seal from existence it has its ward three it's also efficient and exciting target non -non permanent now for the green cards we only have two one creature spells cosmic heart hunger which uh, kind of a bite down effect was an added uh, effect that can damage to a battle and fertile its favor sort of a, con a combat trick we also have adding two percent encounters and one to one target artifact creature and also searching library for a basic land and putting it into play type and last but not the least of course is this battle the invasion of moag that is a uh, photocast adding encounters to each creature you want to as it enters the battlefield so very much good because Carving out with two drop and three drop would also benefit well, especially if you have the two ways in play. And also very uh, efficient if ever you get to this combo, you get to flip to Bloom Wilder Dryads. This is a 3 3 ward for two. And then step put a counter up to target creature you want to. So adding counters and then turn for duelist will basically draw to you as a card at the same time. And again, pile on again, it's just a combo for black. But since you have several uh, fetch here with the now, for its favor and also drawing up your cards, it's pretty much easy to convoke this one despite having uh, a zero black creatures. And of course, not only deficient, convoking to destroy a picture of Prince Walker and just one also surreal for two to fix your library uh, draws. And uh, the lineup for the lands again, just very basic. We have eight planes, we have uh, eight forests, and uh, last but not the least, a long copy of the song. So that's basically it, my deck. Uh, my record is uh, just uh, pretty much away. It was a 2 2, but uh, sadly losing to the mana screw in kind of insufficient uh, draws such as Morriganing, either your hand might be the very cost of why those losses were made. But anyhow, I think pretty much I made uh, pretty well for the limited, especially for the perilous uh, event of March of the Machines from having this uh, deck. Um, created out of this uh, pile so i guess that's about it if you really liked this video just uh, click like and subscribe the notifications bell on for uh, future updates and other magic related uh, content so thank you guys for watching this video see you guys on the next one